Yeah, buddy, we are live today. We're going to do something a little entertaining, a little bit more fun. It is a Monday. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, most of you are sitting at home watching a little bit of Monday Night Raw. Yes, last minute post to go and do this live. I know, very short coming, very short in general. But why? You guys are all about the fun. Why? We're here about fun. I posted... I posted earlier today that I have this gem. This gem is called, you know, having these awesome basketball cards. And I figured, why not have a little fun with you guys and basically do a little unpacking, do a little unboxing. And we see Garrett is here to join us. Garrett, if you like what's going on, especially you see one of your boxes right here, go and do me that one favor share this video because you help get one of these boxes baby you help get one of them we're just gonna wait like a few more minutes to get people jumping and going because everyone loves everyone loves unboxing stuff and today we have a bit of a of a, of a variety and it's basically two boxes i got it looks like uh, eight extra packs going on Everything's just blowing up on the phones. No, it has to know. It has to notify me and let me know that hey, there's a live video happening right now. Yes, yes, there is. Always going alive, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, how's everyone's Monday going so far? Right, Monday being the most stressful day of the week. You know, let's not get stressed today. Let's have a little extra fun today. We have let's to let's um. Let's unpack these packs. I don't know. <laughs> We're doing something. Garrett, how are you doing tonight? I see you're here. What are you doing on a nice Monday evening like this? Should you be watching some Monday Night Raw? Also, normally everyone's used to me um, unboxing or doing a Build-A-Figure. Normally the Mondays are set to Build-A-Figure Mondays. We will be doing that soon. Let's see some Zion. Yeah, we're, we're hoping to see a little Zion. But we'll give everyone a bit of a chance and everything. Um, you know, oh yeah, I love American Pickers. I can watch them. I can watch them and Pawn Stars all day on the History Channel. Such an amazing show. But since we got a couple of faces here and everything just to get the ball semi rolling and stuff normally I have to wait a good five minutes for these things 10 a little much no one wants to wait 10 whole minutes to see someone unboxing these stuff but look at this awesome pack all right i got very lucky found the hobby store i went to the westbury i forget the, the store's name store in westbury long island and they happen to have some packs and everything too they have the absolute memorabilia packs uh, I end up gathering two of these. Don't know what's entitled. I'm a big, I used to be a big car collector, so I collect it just for fun. So I'd like to see, you know, what's what's changed in, in packs and everything. So I get the absolute memorabilia. Uh, these, the Dunross packs. A lot of times, these are not everyone's favorites. A lot of people are not a big fan of these. I wasn't a big fan of them, but for the sake of collecting and unpacking, why not? They were at a good price, so I picked these up as well, too, from the Westbury store. Uh, this lovely box right here was compliments of Garrett, a.k.a. right from the uh, new... What the... Uh, the Garden State Comic Fest. He was nice enough to save those for me just for a hot minute. Yeah, baby. What's up, Carlos? What's up, MJ? Actually, what's up, Mia? Uh, we also got the NBA Hoops packs. I got three packs over here. So we'll definitely be unpacking one of these. And these I got from the boys of Filthy. They are located in my hometown of Glen Cove, a.k.a. Seacliff. Go and check them out. They are a um, a hobby shop in... Uh, in Glen Cove, if you follow my Instagram page, which is Arash Evo, A-R-A-S-H-E-V-O, on my um, 
on my stories, I did tag Garrett, who was nice enough to get me this. And I did uh, tag Filthy, who was nice enough to get me the hoops box as well, too. Maybe we'll keep the hoops together. You know, keep Zions. Keep the Zions together. Get some rookie packs going on. What's up, Sal? Yeah, I'm going to be doing like a little dual thing because, you know, my, my, my PC is to the left of me. So I got to keep hitting certain stuff. But since I got a couple of you guys watching right now, what do you guys want me to open? Should I open a box first or should I start opening some packs first? And as far as packs are concerned, which ones would you like to see first? Especially with this crazy NBA season happening right now. And yes, we do miss Kobe. Kobe, we miss you. All right, Mia says packs. All right, pa Mia, which one? We're going with hoops. <laughs> we're going absolute memorabilia. Or we're we going with the Dunross Panini packs. Salsa's box. I got absolute. All right, I got two two people saying packs. One person saying absolute gave me a thing. One person saying, uh, all right, the Dunross draft finally hoops last. Dunross. All right, all right. Two people saying Dunross. Wait, make up your mind. All right. So your choice is. By the way, I'm actually going to open up one at a time anyway. I'm not going to do anything. Which one? Which one, guys? <laughs> give Kobe some love. All right. First of all, we always give Kobe love. Kobe is love. We love you, Kobe. We miss you. Wish you're around to make fun of half the NBA players that are out today. We're going to start with this pack right here. There is a method to opening packs. I don't know how you guys are with opening packs. I am a freak when it comes to opening packs, and you're going to see why. Because we're going to put cards back where they belong. And I had a friend of mine who would open them from the top. You know, and he would like slide them back in. And the problem was that his cards would literally get destroyed afterwards. So here we go. Let's start. I see Andre Iguodala right there. So we're, I always start with the front. I never start with the back. See what we got. We got Dion Waiters. Is that rookie card? Don't even know who's on the team anymore. We have uh, Marvin Bagley's, the third. We got some Derek Favors. Look at this one. We got Carl Anthony Towns as a complete player card. Pretty cool. It's a complete card. Rookie Mateus from the Sixers. Another rookie card. Laker card. Nothing much. It makes it basically Marcus Smart and, of course, Andre Iguodala. Andre Iguodala, who deserves to be back on the Sixers, but he deserves to be on another championship team because that man has gone through everything under the sun. All right, putting that pack back. Not a great grab, but, you know, it is what it is. You should see me throw him on the couch. Some of you would have a heart attack right now. Yes, he did. That was such a sad moment. Um, we'll put that up real quick. Um, yes, it's actually true. During the Sunday edition of Palcon, uh, Kobe passed away. I remember that day very well because every vendor not only came, every single person came, not only came to my table um, asking if I had Kobe Bryant posters. I know a lot of people got asked as well, too, if anyone had any Kobe Bryant posters. All right, now that we opened one uh, Dunross up, should we still stick with packs? Remember, we got two. And we got two Dunrosses. I feel like calling them Dunhills. I don't know why. It's a smoker's thing. <laughs> uh, we also have the Absolute Memorabilia. Well, actually, someone said Absolute Memorabilia not too long ago. So let's just go with that one right now, too. Right. It's like <laughs> opening Christmas presents, but it's not. But it is. It's, 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 it's what I gift myself. And I gift myself a lot of fun things. Yeah, it was such a heavy moment. And thank you, Sal. Hopefully, uh, we can everyone can make it to your show this year at Palcon. 
And Garrett, since you are a vendor right there, the man above you has a show in New Jersey happening very shortly. So you two should all, uh, you know, keep in touch with each other. You know, reach out and touch someone. All right. Hopes, absolutes, or we're going with duns. Dun, 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 dun. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me today on this lovely Monday evening, which you all should be watching Monday Night Raw instead of me. Right? Actually, Garrett should be carrying my sports posters because you'll be doing a lot of sports stuff now. Yes, there is. Yeah, we, yeah, we do have the trade. The trading card uh, show is Saturday, and then actually the following day. So the trading card show is Saturday. Uh, Collectors Fest is the day after. So if you're a big fan of the, um, you're a big fan of Wayne, New Jersey. There's actually two shows happening on two different days in the same location, and that's at the PLA Building in Wayne, New Jersey. Not bad, right? The best of both worlds. Gary, you should just give me, like, all the boxes you ever buy. Because, you know, I don't know why. You only care about your Mickey Mantle uh, baseball card that you recently acquired. I mean, I should just have you on. You could tell me about this Mickey Mantle card that you probably spent your life savings on just for it. All right. I'm going to open up one of these packs right here. And that is the NBA Hoops one. Only five cards in the pack. No purchase necessary. See stuff for details. Still not a big fan of Panini, but I guess they've become the new NBA standard. I miss Upper Tech so much. And Fleet. Yeah. That was actually, yeah, that was a very sad moment. I'll continue with Sal real quick. Yeah, dude, when he passed, I was so upset. And uh, Sean Spears was crying. I think we all were. I think we were all in shock of how uh, things happened. Armando, thank you. This box right here comes from his store. Compliments of uh, Filthy, was it Filthy Breakers? Filthy Breakers in the Glencove Seacliff area. Go and check out the store for all of you hobby collectors and out there as well too. Go and check them out. We love you. Fleer, you really think Fleer saved the NBA hobbies? I mean, we, that's a that's a whole discussion. I mean, we do have someone right above us that can actually com complete those statements. Was it Fleer or was it other companies that did? It was, uh, uh, thank you, Filthy Bomb Breaks. They are responsible for this box right here. Go and check them out. Um, they are located in the Glencove Seacliff area. So, guys, if you're in NASA County, go and check them out. And if you're checking out the... Um, uh, the card expo that's happening on Saturday. Go and check out Garrett's booth, and hopefully, Garrett, you'll see Garrett um, at the next comic book convention. Um, and he's got a wide selection of not only trading cards, but also vintage toys, and he's got some uh, video games, lots and lots and lots of video games, which I was fortunate enough to grab last time. <laughs> I think Panini ended up... Okay, so Armando says Panini saved the NBA trading card game. Um, NBA owns one of these companies. NBA owns Panini. NBA has the rights to it. And I think it is Fleer. Was it Fleer that turned to Panini? And then the NBA purchased um, Fleer, which later turned to Panini. So if I'm not mistaken, there's a whole history on the trading cards um, of Fleer, which I actually did like Fleer and everything too. All right, so these packs are from last year because I think it's tight. Is Chandler Persons still playing? Don't remind me because I'm on his Instagram and I always see him posting about him and his wife getting married or did he just skip out on last season of not playing? And we got Chandler Persons. Pretty cool card. Demar Drozen. We got Kaz, Mia, and we're back. <laughs> the Golden Dragon. Nothing crazy with these packs. So if anyone wants what I just got, here, give me a dollar. I'll send them to you. I'll send them to you. <laughs> or just come to Brooklyn if you feel like taking that drive to Brooklyn. 
Oh, Fleer was bought out by Upper Deck in 2005. Okay. Yeah, but the NBA owns one of these trading card companies, and that's the reason why it has changed from one company to Panini. So, and there's a reason why it does a lot more sports memorabilia when it comes to the NBA stuff as well, too, compared to baseball and hockey. Um, which one? I can't even remember. This one it was a rookie card. How is he? I don't see. I haven't even playing at the, the. I haven't even been paying attention to half the players anyway. But yeah, this is one of the rookie cards as well too. Maya Oni. Maya Oni good on the Jazz. I can't even remember the, how the Jazz are doing. I think they're pretty competitive this season. So and as I was saying before, when it came to sports cards. There was that big issue between baseball, hockey, and football where Upper Deck had the rights to certain players, and if that player ended up on the other company's um, trading cards, their their jersey's name was removed. Like, the team names were removed, or team numbers. So... Yeah, doing a little one-man show here for you guys, because why we love you. We love you. All right. Let's go it again. Dunn Ross. Absolute memorabilia. Oh, we're going for another NBA hoops pack, because why? I'm going to save these bad boys for last, because hopefully there's one or two lovely goodies in here. And packs are always like fillers. You know, they're just here. They're just there. Yeah, but uh, Sal, which which uh, sports company was this? Because was it for Nike? Remember, we had Nikes, Adidas that did uh, most of the NBA stuff. I forgot who used uh, NBA, uh, baseball. Baseball is a whole different company. And I heard like there was another company just for the sale of jerseys when it came from mem to memorabilia stuff. And it wasn't just Mitchell and S. Mitch Mitchell and S just had a deal with the NBA which slowly turned into being bought by Adidas and then now being purchased by uh, a British or Indian company now with, uh, with Mitchell and S. Too much history. <laughs> All right, guys, help me out. The Dunn Ross, the absolute memorabilia, overgone with, a number, or with another NBA hoops pack for you lovely, lovely people who are watching tonight on this lovely Monday evening. And to be honest, I actually, like, all right, Garrus is absolute. We got one person for an absolute. We're going absolute. I like the pack, though. It says, download the NBA Panini Dunk. Did you ever, did anyone ever, like, follow through with some of these when it comes to, like, getting, like, the promo codes? Because I remember, um, yet again with Panini, with one of the games, it was NBA Ballers, I believe. And it was that interactive basketball workout. And you had promo codes uh, within the packs for the NBA Ballers game. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Oh, nice. Got an Anthony Davis here. They go Talon, Horton, uh, Tucker, rookie card. Pretty cool. Then we have a Nar Naris Little. Uh, Naris Little. Rookie card. Another rookie card. Mike Conley, and last but not least, Devin Booker from the Phoenix Suns. Pretty decent grabs, especially whoever is an Anthony Davis fan. You know, especially if she, you know, after all the smack talk you 
talked about this. Um, oh my god, I forgot the team that he was on before. Special the Smack Talk. He talked about um, uh, the New Orleans Pelicans. Man, that was such a pain in the butt to like deal with, especially in that season. Actually, that's a very interesting. That's a very interesting season. I think you can blame that whole NBA season to um, Anthony Davis wanting to be traded, and he, and he ends up going to the Lakers. Speaking of Lakers, you know what? I feel like opening another Kobe pack. I you know, feel like opening another Dunn Ross packs and everything. I think it's the D and the coloring for this, and that's why I never liked them. Or or the time it was a two or three years ago where every card that they came out with had like this very off color. It it wasn't it was very it wasn't very tasteful of them to have a I guess like a I don't know, like a 50s, 60s card vibe that didn't flow very well. Yeah, anyway. Thank you all for watching tonight. By the way, I, I do have a knife just in case I wanted to be like that person and just cut up a card, which I might do that. Depends on the card. Okay. Canward. Canard. All right. First, we got a Paul George on the Clippers. It looks like a jersey they have in the back. Oh, yeah, the Thunders jersey they has on. Paul George. And we got a Paul George card. Isaiah Thomas. JJ Redick. Oh, nice. We got a Joel Embiid. Franchise features. Cool grab. We got a Eric Pascal. Rookie card. We got another. Nicole Anders Walker for the Pelicans, another rookie card. So we got two rookie cards right here. We got John Collins and we got Luke Kennard. Kennard. Couple nice grabs. Yeah, I hope so too. It's like one of those like go like hope something like amazing pops out and everything. But you know, I'm bored. I normally, I normally would just have like one of my boys come over and we'll open up a pack or two, or he'll help me open up a pack, and we'll grab like a few of them. We'll just go ham. We'll just go ham on them. I don't know if Al's watching. Al and I used to go like some some of the hobby stores in East Meadow and just between uh, East Meadow and Westbury, just find whatever sports cars we could find. Especially going to Target and Walmart, and forget about finding anything at Walmart or Target anymore, because it just doesn't exist. Doing this one again, the NBA, the uh, two thousand nineteen two thousand twenty pack. Yeah, I'm using last year's packs. Actually, this is the only one that's for this year. Uh, everything else is pretty much from last season. But in the true sense of hobbiness, if this was cabbage patch, if these were the cabbage patch dolls cards from the eighties and nineties, oh please, this it wouldn't even matter what year these packs are. Could you imagine if I grabbed the Jordan pa the the Jordan rookie card box? Oh, man, that'd be a grab. That'd be a great grab. I sit here. I would sit there and unbox the whole thing. Make a whole damn special out of it. All right, we got Gary Harris. Man, I gotta pay attention more to the players because season pretty good. So what it looks like so far. We got some Russell Westbrook. Of course, trade it to the Rockets. On blah, blah, blah. Now it should say trade it to the Wizards after this. Mike Conley. Nice. Little classic right there from the NBA Hoops line, the Charles Barkley tribute. Wow, I remember having this. Mondo, if you're watching, you remember having this card? It was a 90, 91, 92, something like that, right? This brings back so many memories. Yeah. Bro. Charles Barkley. Anyone notice that Charles Barkley is not in the uh, 
the NBA 2K games. They would never realize that the Charles Barkley is not in the NBA 2K games. Anyway, and we also got uh, Goga Batiste, Batiste, rookie card. Now, if I remember correctly, especially when it came to different coloring on the borders, remember a couple of years ago, it was Target, Walmart, and Toys R Us all had different borders for their cards, especially for the NBA Hoops line. I believe Toys R Us had green, Target had, Target had red, and Walmart had blue. So if you collected these, um, it was interesting because every, like the three major stores had different borders on their cards. And that was through their NBA Hoops line. I remember grabbing a box from Toys R Us and going, wait, why is the border like green? Which was interesting. All right, ladies and germs. Yeah, you remember? Yeah, I remember opening a pack. Yeah, Fleer 88s. They were like 80, 29 cents a pack. I remember being like 50 cents. We're going to flea market and spending like like 5 to $10 worth of packs. And you end up buying like the whole box instead for like $10. God, those were the days of just like getting like decent stuff. Who remembers those days at the flea market? All right, kids, ladies and germs. Should we go in reverse order again? We'll finish it off with an NBA pack, and then we'll go with the absolute memorabilia, and we'll end it with the Dunross, and then you guys can fight over, or I guess we'll finish it off still completing the 2019-2020 edition, especially this being the inaugural edition, which is on the box right here. And we'll continue into the brand new season that is the 2020-2021 season. Right? Oh, now he does? Yeah, like, if you if you ever, like, picked up, like, especially if you picked up the ones when Toys R Us was around, when the NBA Hoops boxes were around, Toys R Us, Walmart, and Target all had different borders. And if you picked them up, and, and if you like pick them up like different times or whatever and you open up the pack and you got the one with a different border It was because it was based meant to be on that store. I want to know who completed the Toys R Us set because The one time they do it is the is the one year is the last year Toys R Us is in office or is in business so That's what I want to know who completed the green border set for the year Toys R Us closed Interesting though. Back to unpacking, right? Do you call this unpacking, unraveling? What would you do? Unboxing? One of the two? I should have done my nails. All right, next time I'm gonna add some bed music to this to make it, I'm gonna add some more like intense music and stuff. Make like the make like the mood a little bit better. Okay, buddy healed is in the back, but hey, let's start with the front. Alright, we got Sabonis. The son of Arbina Sabonis, if you're not if you're not an NBA fan. We got Jordan Clarkson. Cleveland did those jerseys for a while? Ugh, those are ugly. Ben Simmons, no, not a rookie card. When did he come in? I probably do have his rookie card somewhere in the house. <laughs> somewhere at home. Uh, we got Al Horford. And we got Buddy Heald. Yet again, this one having the yellow border. And I'm wondering because of current things that they've stuck with the yellow border now with these cards. It's still cool though. Yeah, it's unbox. Okay, thank you. It's unboxing. Right? Unboxing. Yeah, you saw me. I called it unpacking and unboxing. I could be traveling, you know. These, these. I mean, these did travel. One box traveled from Glen Cove. The other box, you know, one of the the packs traveled from Westbury. You know, this box here traveled from the Glen Cove Seacliff area, and where it came from afterwards, I have no idea. All right, we'll go with the absolute memorabilia. Hopefully, there's a nice little gem for us in here. Hopefully, something amazing. 
But who knows? It's just fun opening these packs. I'd say unwrapping. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, but that the, the but the phrase unwrapping that can go in a whole another direction too. <laughs> you know, because tech. Well, if this was in a box and I had a ribbon on it and I had a string to pull on, then it'd be unwrapping. But I'm not destroying these packs. You know, as you can tell, I'm putting them back. Nice and clean, way they belong, not like some other people that just destroy these things. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Zion William, uh, <laughs> Williamson rookie card sitting right here. Nice. Garrett, you called it. We got a Zion rookie card. Let's explain. We got a Zion rookie card. Garrett, this one's for you. Yet again, we got a Zion rookie card. Nice. We got Colin Saxton. Oh, nice. Astro memorabilia of, Manu uh, of uh, Bull Bull. Who loves me? Levi. Levi's typing to me. And he should be watching. Carson Edwards. Last but not least. Jalen uh, Noel. But of course, all anyone cares about right there. You son of a gun is the Zion. So there you go. Score, score one on the memorabilia's, on the Aston memorabilia's. Pretty cool. You got a Zion rookie card. Nice. If I had a cheering applause noise, I'd be like, yeah, you know, like the background noise. <laughs> All right, last one, on the packs, the Dunn Ross packs. I'm just really interested to see what's in here, to be honest. Because you know, with the silver prisms, everyone's got different taste on cards. I always like the uh, I always like the upper deck cards more because I always felt like whoever the photographer was was big into action sports. Like he was a he probably was a photographer for pro skaters because he. Um, the photographer up for upper deck always had better shots. When I mean always had better shots, like had better pictures than some of the other people, um, than some of the other sports cards uh, photographers at, at the time. All right, first we got uh, DJ Augustin, Augustine, classic jersey. We got Kyle Anderson. I wasn't noticed like some of the retro jerseys or some of the third jerseys that they put around almost like college jerseys in a way. We got a Damian Lillard, ladies and gentlemen, for you all Portland Trailblazer fans. Nice. We got uh, Chuma Okieki. On oh, great. What card is this? Pretty dope. We got some rookie cards right here. DeAndre Hunter. Daniel Gafford. Is that a Bulls jersey? Can't really tell now. Eric Gorson. Gordon. And Chandler Hitchinson. So the only thing out of those packs that anyone gave a damn about is pretty much the Zion Williams. I think that's what anyone cared about is grabbing a Zion Williams. Williamson. Thank you. Sorry. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to playing with a knife, get your parents' permission before using one because you don't want to cut yourself. And if anything, have someone over an age... Yes, that means you guys as well, too. You you elderly friends of mine who do watch this show. This goes double for you, Mia. This goes double for you, Garrett. Get permission from, from someone older than you to open up a box. Because we know you... We, we all know you've cut your hand or two on, on some of these. So, 
Anyway. Mia, how many times have you cut your hands and Reggie sits there and laughs at you? Seriously. How many times? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm right outside my kitchen, so you can hear. Actually, too bad you can smell the cooking I just did before. Cook me some Peter Luger bacon tonight. Anyway. There you go, the nice reflecting, and that's what you really want. The nice reflecting NBA logo that everyone likes to see. So nice. It's got four hanger box exclusives, purple disc prism. Ooh. Stuff to find. 20 cars per box. Let's see if this is true. Let's see what's in here. Look, this is what I don't like about these boxes. Look how much space is in here. <laughs> and look how much card you get. That's how much space that's in this box. But that's how much card you get. How do you feel about that? Like you can fit another pack in there. And that's what I used to do. I used to get like a couple of these boxes and fit the other packs in there. You know what? I, I can, I can see, be honest, Mia. I can see you not being allowed to open up any sharp, <laughs> anything with sharp objects. You're not to open anything up. All right. Already we got a silvery foil on uh, the Lango Gallinari. Or short Daniel Gallinari. Daniel Gallinari, a.k.a. former Nick. Remember, does anyone remember his 30-point game? Especially a lot of you East Coasters. Do you remember his 30, his 38-point game that he did on the Knicks? And Amari Stoudemire still gave him crap for doing 30 points in the game because Amari only scored 12 points. Yeah, but some of you didn't remember that moment. Oh. Amari, Amari, Amari. Talking smack for no reason whatsoever. That's kind of interesting, though. It's the first time where I've opened one of these boxes and I'm not used to having a full pack display. So normally, like, having one of these in, like, multiple packs. I like these multiple packs. But this is just them not caring or them giving you exactly what's supposed to be in this. And these are, you know, all prism, prism cards, prisma cards. Let me put this knife away so it's not in my way. All right, first, we got a Gallinari card. Ooh, I love the way this feels. And look, look, guys, shiny. Shiny cards. Shiny. It's a shiny card. Premium stock. Nice. From the premium stock collection, I can see other cool cars happening in the background, too. Where the heck does this come from? All right. Anyway. All right. Colin Saxton. Bam. Up the uh, Bay Bay. Blake Griffin card on the Detroit Pistons. Marvin Bagley. I just realized that the same picture from the previous one. So I gotta see if NBA Hoops decided to use the same stock image that they had before, but repeating them on like their on on these sets as well too. You know, kind of becomes like a mini. Not gonna lie, like a bit of a ripoff in a way. Kyle Landry, Mo Banna, uh, uh, Bambo. All right, we got a Parker card. Anthony Simmons. The rookie card? No. Carson Edwards. We got J.R. Smith. Nice, give him a little classics. The DeAndre Hunter tribute card, also a rookie card. Nice. I like the shiny cards. Tre uh, Trevor Ariza. Pretty cool. Oh, look at this shiny little bad boy. Andrew Wiggins. You like different numbers? No. They just decided to like give you like here. This is where it gets like weird, right? So we got the regular shiny. We have super shiny. And then we have colored shinies. So remember how we said they had the yellow ones before too? Now we're going right deep into purples. Deep in purples with the Erica Betso with the uh, Meyer, uh, 
Meyer Leonard, Myers Leonard, Brandon Card, Lovila, and what classics of 2019? All right, so this is one of the rookie cards. So, so Ja uh, Morant. Okay. Okay. I'll figure it out later with what they try to do with this box and what they try to do with these. I mean, these are cool, but yet again, the major confusion of shiny purples to the previous regular stock of having the, um, the yellowish border. And did they repeat the same stock image? Especially when I saw um, Marvin did they use the same stock image and just not do anything cool on it? You know? Gary, what did you call? Because I don't remember what you called. <laughs> Gary, you're confusing me. What did you call again? Because <laughs> I'm sort of confused. Alright, that's the end of the, the NBA Hoops box. Uh, guys... They, they need a new marketing. I know, I get it. The market's hot right now for this stuff, but they need a, they need a new marketing person because if you're giving me trading cards that from one edition to another edition, from generics to everything else, and you're giving me eh, this is almost like eh, even if you're giving me the premium stocks. So make this make this worth my while, brah. It wasn't even worth my wild. I don't know. You tell me, guys, what is worth your while? What are you, what are you grabbing? What are you trading? Because oh, the jar, the the jack card, yeah, the jar card is kind of cool, but it's it, it didn't it, it it's not like it didn't grab my attention. You know, like certain things they have to grab your attention. Like where some of us are toy collectors or video game collectors, some of these things, like when they do like marketing and stuff on trading cards, like give me a cool action pose, give me his rookie jersey, give give me him in a suit. I would have taken him in a suit standing there on draft day than whatever image that was. And if they're repeating stock images, then NBA Hoops should just quit while they're ahead. Oh, I almost cut myself. See? Always pay attention, kid. I literally had to throw the knife. I almost cut myself. I just threw this away because I almost cut myself. As a kid, as I said before, disclaimer, please pay attention when you have sharp objects around, just like me, I distracted myself. I almost cut myself. So please, if you are gonna open this, please open it with someone who is good with sharp objects. Um, but open up boxes at home with a parental figure or someone you really love, right? And look guys, we have stickers. Also available at artistclub.ninja. So, if you like what this is going on, just support, buy a shirt, buy a sticker. Stickers are fun. Adult supervision. Everyone needs a little... Look, no matter how old you get, no matter what age you are, there's always going to be adult supervision. Because why? I have a grown friend of mine, and he needs adult supervision all the time. Because he actually got mad at me. We were supposed to do something else. So... This is the 2020 Prism Draft Picks collection box. Ooh, featuring 101 card base set, including 80 base, uh, 15 um, Crusade, Crusade, and five global prospects. Nice. So, Look at all the licensing stuff. Product of, product of, product of, product of, product of. License, licensing. Jesus Christ. So these rookie card kids all get like deals before anything else. It's crazy. Anyway, this is the college pack. These are your prism draft picks. Two, find two silver prisms. And of course, collegiate licensed product. Very interesting. Very interesting. So I gotta know is this, are the college players now getting paid now? Or is this 
And is this all due to once you get to, once you get to the NBA draft, we'll give you your NBA money as part of this. I totally forgot something clipped me. That's okay. Now I'm cooked all the way. Yes, I have something slow cooking right behind me as well, too. Yes, yes. Pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see some fire. I want to see some fire, too. I know. Wait, 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 you see fire? Like, my my kitchen blowing up? Fire? Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a bonus pack in here. You know what that means. That's going last. That's going last. That's a lot of packs, though. <laughs> that is way too many packs. That's a lot of packs. All right. Should I pick a number or we're we just going to go any, mini, miny, mo? I'm just going to keep doing this so one of you guys go stop. All right. So I'll know exactly when you guys tell me to stop. Yeah, but you know what? That's going to be last. That That's going to be last. There's your two pack. That's what it is. Here's your silver foil prism twos. These are just, this is just filler. So we're gonna go for the fillers because we know what's in here. There's gonna there's gonna be two, but two of what though? Two of what? Do we want a Lamar Lamar uh, Lamelo Ball? Are we hoping for Lamelo Ball? All right, you going for the fourth one? See, I count the four. Oh, Garrett's so excited. Never seen him. I've never seen someone that excited before. We're diving deep into this, guys. We're going deep to some college packs. Deep, 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 deep. You know what? It's the fact that they made one. And I never like when they do this, ever. It's like, what's the point of spending your money on this box when that's when that's all you're going to give me? I might as well just sell, sell the packs and just make my money back. All right. So if you guys are a big fan of these, like, let me know because one, I don't know any of these college players. I know some of them are currently in the NBA, so we'll go through them down the line. And if you want a pack or two, or you want these cards, let me know. I'll hook you. I'll hook you up. So first, we're jumping right to the Crusades. We got the Crusades. How many do they have? So remember, they said they got over a hundred. What is it? They got 100 base cards set, 15 Crusades, 5 Global Prospects. So we got one Crusade already, and that is... I don't even, I'm not even going to pronounce that name. I am not pronouncing that name. Everyone knows who's ever watched This Week in Pop Culture when it comes to names. Nope, 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 I'm good. So you know who this is. You're seeing it. Nice, we got a Global Prospect. We got RJ Hampton. Nice. I mean, I don't know why they put a rookie card, because we all know these are all rookie cards. Jordan, um, Wara. Killian Hayes. And Trey Jones. Nice. And if these players are all in the NBA, congratulations. And if you're not, you know, best wishes in your next endeavors. Pretty cool. As I said, so I, so I protect my cards. If you don't do that, I don't know, man. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do, if there's a little ball, if there's a ball card in here, I'm going to throw it on purpose. I will literally turn this card. I will turn the card. As if you guys are kids. I'm going to turn the camera, face my wall. I'm going to throw the ball card right to the wall. And in hopes of it sticking to the wall. Yet again, I'm not saying that dude's name. All right. All right, we got a Cash Winston. Pretty thick cards, though. Look, that's pretty thick. It's a thick card. Devin um, Vessel. Nico Menon. Men got two of them. Two of them. What are going to do with these two? Is he a ginger? It was just the card reflecting. I can sit here all day and make fun of these cards too. What the? F and then him again. I'm not saying his name. 
You know, like I did that. Who would I do it to? It was I was a kid and I got a Jordan card and I forgot when or when or where it was. And I remember throwing it across the room. I remember throwing a Jordan card across the room and having my friend have a heart attack, like legit have a heart attack. All right, tell me when to stop. The first, the foil. Yeah, the first is the prism. Yeah, but you know, the cards are cards. I said to collect them as if I got like all like the Duke uh, players and stuff. Actually, it's right there when you said stop. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> stop. Stop. Collaborate and listen. All right, out of all the NBA rookie cards, besides getting the Ball Brothers, who are the other rookies that you're looking forward to in these packs? As much as I'm not watching the Knicks game, <laughs> is the Knicks playing right now or did they play last night? Oh, no, I was watching. You know what it is? I was I, per I turned on ESPN2 today, and they had the G League game on, and it was the Long Island Nets, legit Long Island Nets, versus... One of the well, the one of the newest NBA teams called uh, the Ignite, so called the G League um, um, Ignites, which I thought was really interesting. All right, got Vernon, Karen. All right, see, this is where I start throwing cards <laughs> when you get repeats, like Devin Bas Vessel. All right, see, second card of him. I, just, I should just throw it. See how. See how you guys like freak out. Cole Anderson, Anthony, Trey Jones. I should just start tossing cards. Devin, Dotson, and uh, Vernon Carey Jr. Should I? Should I be? <laughs> should I just do it? Especially on this one. Just go. Nope. Garrett, would you have a heart attack if I did that right now? Would you legit have a heart attack if I threw a card across my room right now? Wow. I'm, not even, I'm not even giving you guys the benefit of the doubt. All right, tell me when to stop. I like doing this. It's like having, you know, trading. Like tra it's like having trading cards, except you know, they are. I know, right? They are my cards. All right, all right. How would you feel if I took that Mickey Mantle card of yours? In the plastic, in the hard plastic case, and I threw it. <laughs> what would you do? Let me get this one. You guys are. <laughs> My cards. My cards. Darn. Gosh darn it. And the, and the difference between these and the upper deck packs. Remember upper deck had the good foils on them? Um, when you really open up a pack, you really opened up a good pack. And I guess that's like the same theory, I guess, or how would we say, like super superstitious of like how anyone opens up a pack. And if you open up a really good way, because look, this is how I just opened up my pack. And you know when you get the clear, like especially when you get the clean cut, the glue is just right. Yes, I know. Today's new pickers. How dare you tell me about new pickers? Plus, I have it on DVR. Bro, get a DVR. All right, we got Aaron Nesmith. Yes, these are rookie cards. Cassius Stanley. Xavier Tillman. Another name I'm not going to pronounce. And we got Cole Anderson from the Crusades line. Pretty cool. Nothing crazy yet for you guys out there. Now, I know, I know Garrett's waiting for an Edwards card because he wants me to pull one so badly. What team did Anthony Edwards end up on anyway? Because I'm trying to figure that part out too. I don't remember what, what team he ended up on. I gotta look that up later. Alright, tell me when to stop. 
We only got, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, guys. All right, count one to eight. Let me know. One to eight. Give me a number. See, number one, two, three, four, six, seven, and eight. Pick a number between one and eight, guys. It's awesome. Number five. It scares me right in the face. This is card number five. Let's see if Garrett's Charm works this time. We're going to call it the Garrett Charm. No? And who's watching probably thinks one of us is nuts. Okay. I'm not saying his name again. <laughs> Pretty cool, actually. We got a Jaden McDaniels. Ooh, nice. We got an Aaron Nesman with a more of a prism card. Jeez. See, I like. I see. We like shiny. Tyrese Halliburton. Guys, this is if you're a card collector, are they numbered? Yeah, they're numbered. They're regular number they're regularly numbered actually. So they have like regular numbers on them. Especially on this one being, being the Prism card. The both well both being Prisms. Um this one is the part of the Crusades line, which is numbered, and this is part of the regular pack. Which is one out of a hundred, I believe. So we're looking at a hundred rookies. So I know, right? I know. Guys, if you have girlfriends, this is how you this is how you keep relationships going. Girls like shiny things, collect shiny cards. And if they keep doing shiny cards like this, yeah, shiny. Everyone likes shiny. Let me know on the bottom, guys. Comment right below who likes shiny cards and which one. Like out of all the cards you've probably collected, including Pokemon cards, which one's your favorite shiny card? Everyone likes shiny. We have the shiny collection. Yeah, no, no crazy serial numbers. No, the serial numbers are on the toys. You're thinking about the ones that are like numbered one out of one or one out of 20, things like that. All right, guys, down to seven cards left. Pick a number between one and seven. Not hard to pick. One, two, seven. I remember when, uh, was it Fleet? They had those like extra long cards out of nowhere. And they were part of the NBA Jam 2 game too. So you had the new packs and the way they introduced the new packs where they put them in the NBA Jam game. Yeah, ask me if I still have those cards. Nope. I don't know. Actually, I don't know who's actually who has that collection. Um, because it was a one in, that was a one and done set. And whoever has the pack from the NBA Jam game, that pack would probably be worth a lot of money. But the, but it was generic uh, players. Like, I think Eddie Johnson was one of the people on that pack. There you go, guys. What Garrett's been looking forward to all night. And that is an Anthony Edwards card. It's a prism. It's part of the Crusades line. Pretty cool. Number 81 of the Crusades. We get Aaron Nesmith. I'm not pronouncing his name. <laughs> See this little ginger boy? Bye. Uh, yeah, I, have to go, I finally threw a card out because there was like three of them. Jesus Christ. Where? He ended up across the road. Yes, I finally threw a card or like across the room. <laughs> Pretty cool though. I feel like the Anthony like I like I like the weight on these now. Especially with trading cards back then. These have a lot of weight. But try to get a good top loader to fit these. Yeah, good luck. Look, it's your Anthony. Bye Anthony. Bye, Mr. Edwards. And Ginger Boy sitting off to the corner over there. Alright, guys. Six packs left before I 
open this amazing shiny one. So we got one out of six. Pick a number, guys, between one and six, please. <laughs> Thank you. Some of those, some of those cards are depending on which cards you have, and a lot of the old cigarette cards, um, they're worth a lot because they were they were legit, just like the other ones, one and one, and they were pro and they were promotional cards. So, especially the like, there was a set of cards. I think they're like this big, like this big, whatever, and they were in the cigarette packs. So those are hard to find, and I think. One of the Babe Ruth of, or Babe Ruth the rookie card is the cigarette packs of the of the of that era, if I'm not mistaken. Garrett, they live in like, no, not Nebraska. I was gonna say Nebraska. They live in Colorado. Are you planning on taking a drive to Colorado? You know, Colorado Springs Convention is happening very shortly, and they have plenty of vendor space if you want to take the drive to Colorado. And no, I will not drive with you. All right, we got Robert uh, Woodard. Let's see, I like different cards, All right? Jason Wiseman. There you go. Should I throw him? Should I throw him now? Should I really do it? Garrett, should I do it? Garrett? <laughs> should I throw LaMelo's ball out? And it's actually a shinier card. So it's a shinier, shinier rookie card. Number three in the line. Should, should I do it? Pretty cool though. I do like the the purple shinies. Yet again, it's like the weirdness of like the shiny cards. So we got a Lamella ball. Pretty cool. But I think the rookie of the year may go to his brother. Right? I'm confused on which ball is doing what. It's a shiny. Everyone likes shinies. All right, guys. Five more packs left. Pick a number between one and five, please. Dun, 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 dun. Shiny, 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 shinies. Because it's all shiny stuff. <laughs> number three. Oh, one says two, one says three. All right, we got to fight between two and three. All right, going once. We need a third. We need a. We need a whole new person to jump in right now. Number two or number three. Let's let's beat a tiebreaker. Whoever's watching right now. Okay, three is fine. Three. Someone picked monkey in the middle. Garrett didn't want to fight. No. Card number three. Uh, so hard to open this nothing. Wait, I'm opening this right now. Wrong side. All right, what side do you normally go for? Is the inside crease? Do you open it from this side? Do you have to open it from here? Who has a preference? Do you have a preferential way to open up a pack and see how difficult this pack is? Have you ever used your kitchen knife to open up a pack and you end up destroying the good card that's behind this pack? Could you imagine, like, you open up, like, that one card and you're looking for Jordan and you use Mom's knife and you cut a nice little marking right down the line of the Jordan card? Oh, man. I tear the top right. Oh, really? So you do the top. Okay. So you do, like, so real quick. So you, you'll open up from here, pretty much. I can see me being that person. See, this card wants this one must be open so badly. I kind of just want to like put this up and you know help with the stream or whatever. If you guys keep following, follow us on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Follow the page Evil Comics Inc. and go to our Facebook page. This week in pop culture. Actually, this week I did this week in toy culture. So kind of messed up where to send the feed or whatever. But follow us on Twitch. So you guys know more. Maybe I'll give this away. I won't. You know what? I'm not gonna open this pack. 
I'm not going to open this pack. I'm going to save this for you guys. I'm going to save it. That one has the autograph. I don't know. I, I feel like I should give away the autograph. I feel like I should give it away. You know? I feel like I should give it away. And Gareth's like, I'll, 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 I'll give it to me. Right? Gareth's saying, give it to me. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. No. I got Trey Jones. Devin. Peyton. See, we only got the one ball card and the, and the one Edwards card. So... That's all we paid. That's all we paid this crazy amount for, for just getting one of this and one of this, right? With only four, with only four packs left, could we get a second Anthony Edwards card? Could we get a second Lamelo Ball card out of the four remaining packs left? Hmm. It does mean it does what? Yeah, you only get one of these. See, that's such a ripoff. See, that is the biggest ripoff of all. The fact that I'm going to open these four packs after getting the Anthony Edwards card and the Lamella Ball one, and I'm left with four packs to fill up a giant craze of people who probably want a Duke player or Oregon play, or Oregon player, Oregon, Oregon, Georgia player, anything else besides the two cards that everyone's been fighting and looking for. All right, let's finish this off. Pick a number between one and four. Pick a number between one and four. Four it is. Let's finish this off. What if, yeah, see, what if there is? See, we're looking for a second card. These are fun. Yes, there's one. We'll go with, you know what? The next card is going to be the top one. So that is the card number one. We'll go right into it. Why waste time? Because why? You want this card. You want to know what's inside. You want to know, you wonder what player it is. Garrett's hoping it's the ones that he's missed. It's probably a Edwards or a Ball card. Knowing my luck, it's probably the one, it's the, it's the red-headed ginger kid that I keep throwing out of the pack. All right, Xavier Tolman, Aaron Nesmith. Ooh, a second one. And it's a shiny Anthony Edwards card. So we got a metal ball. We got another Anthony Edwards. This is the shinier card. See why we like shinies. Who doesn't like shiny cards? Almost like diamonds. And we got Global Prospect. Shiny. Because we like shiny stuff. Right, guys? Shiny? Shiny. Shiny. Alright. So, okay. So, I feel like Garrett's the mini, mini good luck with, with everything. You know, giving hopes up and everything. Alright. Here's the top pack that, that, that Mia said before. Pick number one. Number one! And then we got one and two, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm just going to open up from the bottom to the top. God, I should put a camera on my face when I say that. Uh, <laughs> look, stickers, guys. These are all stickers. It's a wall of stickers. Obey top top in Aaron. We got James Wiseman. See, even these kids got shiny cards. Jalen Smith. Ooh, that was new. That would be funny if I could like complete like the whole hundred cards that they have. That would be cool. You could just complete the whole set. Maybe it's worth the 60 bucks, sort of. Alright. From the bottom to the top. Because you guys are going ham. Oh, are you going to buy Burgi, uh, Burgi merch next month? Are you going to buy the Burgipedia, the Cut the Burgi check and everything? And Mia, which which one of the coffee cups are you going to get from ArtistClub.Ninja? That's what I want to know. If you like what's going on and want to support, just buy a t-shirt or a sticker, coffee cup pillow because we're huggable let's go to artistclub.ninja 
and you can pick up some awesome merch and everything. Cassidy Vernon. All right, cool. We got Vernon, the RJ. I mean, RJ. No, yeah, RJ, Marcus, and Tyler. As I said before, guys, welcome to the NBA. Hope your season doesn't suck, you know. Blah, blah, all that good fun stuff. Yeah, 55, 55 per like 100 bucks. Eh. So pretty much I gotta get two to almost complete. You know, it's, it's only gotta go buy three to complete the set in a way. Yeah. Well, Mia, to answer your question, well, actually, Mia is watching us via Twitch. So, if you can't, if you guys are watching us via Twitch, thank you for joining us. Uh, just go to twitch.tv slash evil comics link and you can watch us on Twitch as well, too. And not just on Facebook and YouTube, but also on Twitch. Um, to answer Mia's question, everything, uh, one of my friends just got his Artist Club black card shirt, which is pretty cool. Um, the, I put up the picture on Instagram. Actually, it actually comes up on the uh, Facebook um, news feed. All right, we got the Crusades card. We got another Ant Aaron Nesmith. I do like the sh I do like the shiny cards a bit. Shiny cards are cool. And here comes the fun part: hunting to get to finish this set compared to the generic set. You know, cause cause you want the full shiny set. So in a way, you're not buying like you're buying like four or five boxes. You're completing the main set while hunting for the good stuff. My ginger rookie card is running around over there. I was hoping to get another one just to, just to throw them. Yes, as a good kid, I put everything back in the box. All right. Last but not least is this bonus. Panini, Prisma, card. I kind of want to be the a-hole and just take it like this and just go. Where's that knife? That's over there. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you all for watching tonight. Do make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitch. And, um... Too much? I don't know. Too much is going to be... Mia, this isn't too much. Too much will be happening in a very short couple of days when something amazing is going to be happening on artistclub.ninja. And that would be... I'm not telling you till you, till you see it. <laughs> all right. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching because right after this, I'll be cutting the feed. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Uh, if you have any questions, please make sure to comment below, and I will be sure to happy. I will happily answer this while I go right to Clubhouse because I chose to do this instead of joining on a conference call chat room because this is more important than being in a conference call chat room. So this is gonna be mother. This is gonna be a nice. See, this is gonna be a nice pack, and I don't even know what's underneath it. Ah, it's a card we don't want. But it is, a, it is a signed card, and it is an Ashton Higgins signed card. Nice! Welcome, Ashton. Pretty dope. So it's a P A A uh, A H. I have no idea what the, what that means. Maybe Garrett can be the one to nicely, kindly tell us. And if Armando was around, maybe he would ni kind kindly tell us as well too what that means. And I like this one because it's the purple shiny ones. I like the purple shiny ones. Purple shinies are fun. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for watching tonight. Please make sure to follow. Um, you can catch me on Wednesdays with the take or you can catch me tomorrow with michael burgey as we talk about toys and action figures definitely going to take a minute or two to talk about this stuff as well too when it comes to trading cards because why you can find them at your local toy stores or whoever has a toy store these days um and if not that catch me on sundays with this week in pop culture and if not that just like garen and everyone else you can find us your next local comic book convention 
that will be happening very, very shortly. So without further ado, thank you. Good night. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for joining me. And if anything, I'll see you all very, very shortly. Good night, everyone.